Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do kind of like a realistic five to 10 minute makeup routine. We'll see how long it actually is because obviously I'm going to be talking throughout, but if I was just doing this on my own, it would probably just take me like 10 minutes. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I feel like I need to turn that light on. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get started. I already applied my um, eye cream and lip balm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna use, I'm not going to use foundation today, but I am gonna use this um, coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer because it's kind of like something you can use without putting makeup on top anyway. It really is like a moisturizer texture. And it's almost empty, which is good because it's in my project pan that I talk about in every video, I feel. So this kind of gives you like a glow as well, which is like why I say you can wear it just alone because it just looks nice. And it's not, it's not giving you a glow with like a metallic finish, so... Yeah, that's why I like it. And it smells like coconut, but in a good way. But you guys know if you watched any of my other videos, that's one of my favorite primers, so I talk about it a lot. So I'm not gonna use too much, just like that. And so like I said, I'm gonna use, did I say this already? <laughs> I'm gonna use my, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Just to like spot conceal basically. I don't use this concealer under my eyes because it's too thick and matte for my preference, but for the face it works out well. And I didn't wet my sponge, so I'm just gonna use this Rare Beauty Concealer Brush to just like dab it on. I guess I won't edit this because then you won't know how long it really takes me. Maybe just need a bit more here, where I have some redness. This packaging is getting more disgusting every day. <laughs> it's like the doe foot is too big for the tube and it causes like all the product to come out. I don't know. Not my favorite packaging either. Okay, did just have to edit a little because Josh came in and was talking to me. So, yes, but I didn't like do anything else. I just blended the concealer with the brush that I was using. So that's like really all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a bit of concealer for my under eyes because I have this like darkness here that I just wanna even out. A little so I'm just using my Tarte Aqua Sealer and I'm just gonna use the same brush actually so I'm actually going to get my hair cut today which I mean is long overdue <laughs> and I'm 
excited because it's getting a bit ridiculous. It's like down to my butt, so yeah, and I never do anything with it. I'm sure you guys notice, like this, I always have it up, so I don't even know why I have long hair because I don't style it or do anything interesting with it. Okay, I mean that didn't really do much, but this is like a no makeup makeup look anyway. So now I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer just because it's like a foolproof kind of formula. Oh, this brush is not attached. Just like, you know, a natural shade for me. Because since I don't have like a base on, I don't want something that's going to look too makeup-y, you know? So as you can see, this color is like really light for me actually because I feel like I'm applying quite a bit but it only gives me like a slight color but that's fine for what I'm going for today. So for my blush, I'm going to use my Melt Sandy Cheeks Cream Blush Light because it's kind of like a neutral peachy color and I don't want to put like a pink blush on obviously if I'm just wearing very minimal makeup. And I find like a cream blush is going to wear better like throughout the day if I don't have much makeup on. So these blend out like super easily. As you can see, it's very Subtle, I feel, but again, I don't want anything too crazy today, so I think that's maybe just a little more on this side. I feel like these, this formula, like at first looks really pigmented, and you're like, oh no, but it's so easy to blend out that you can't really make a mistake which is why it's good. It's a good product to use if you're like in a rush or just wanting to do something really quick. And for my highlighter, I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Dew Drops, but a small, like a really small amount. Like this much for both for like my whole face basically because I don't want like a super gold reflect I just want like a slight highlight and I'm gonna just use my fingers to tap it out kind of bring it up here also um what I've noticed like because this is another product that I'm trying to pan 
so I've noticed like over time I feel like I don't know if the formula is changing but I feel like you have to work very quickly with this product because it kind of wants to dry down really fast so I'm just trying to spread it around <laughs> as fast as I can but also like make it actually blended to my skin but it, it, it has like a really nice effect it's just it's a bit finicky but the good thing since I don't have a base on I don't have to worry about like picking up product from underneath when I do it like this I can just like do whatever I want and not worry about messing anything up so I'm gonna do my brows next and I'm actually gonna use like products I use even if I'm not doing like a 10 minute makeup because they're just like super easy and I'm not someone that really like does much with my brows. I don't like carve them out or shape them. They just are what they are. <laughs> but I like using like a fiber product. This is like I said the Essence Make Me Brow. Um, I don't love the color on this one. It's not horrible, but maybe it's a little too light for me. Um, it's the shade Soft Brownie Brows. Yeah, 03. I could go a bit darker. I like my brows to be darker than they are naturally. Just when it looks better like on my face. Because I've talked about this before, how they're like super warm and I prefer them to be more like cool tone brown. This is another product like you can't really mess it up. Because you can't like get too much product out um, on the wand either. Which is something I like about that product. There is a hair in my eye. Of course, so that's going to get all red now. <laughs> I think I got it though. Um, and then sometimes like, I don't even wait for that to dry and I just go right in with my Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel. This is not my favorite, but I'm just using it up. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't think it really does much. <laughs> for it being a brow gel but it kind of like separates the hairs I guess makes them look more fluffy because my brow hairs are very thin and like wispy <laughs> so I don't know but that's about all I'm doing for my brows um so obviously I'm not doing like an eye like a full eye look today but sometimes if I just want to do like a little something, I put my bronzer in the crease. I've done this before. I mean, a lot of people do this. It's not anything revolutionary. So I'm just using the same bronzer that I used on my face. And I kind of just do whatever. It doesn't really matter because you're just giving like, some color I guess I wouldn't do this with like a super shimmery bronzer, like just flap it on however because then you would more see where I applied it. <laughs> but because I'm just using like this satin finish bronzer and it's like a very neutral 
tone, it's fine. So it just gives you some kind of depth, I feel. And I'm also just gonna do my same mascara routine. I usually don't do this on camera because it's boring, but just to show you <laughs> how quick this can be. I hope this is quick. That's gonna be really dumb if like I edit this and it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> I hope not, but I am trying to like talk at the same time so you know what I'm doing. Um, this mascara I find is a good like quick mascara too. I don't feel like I have to layer it a thousand times for it to show up. Um, yeah, and it, it does a good job at separating my lashes anyway. And I actually don't like layering up this mascara because it can get clumpy. So just until like it gives me some length, that's enough for me. And then on the bottom, I just always go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Length because it's like a dry formula and a thin brush. And I don't want my bottom lashes to look all spidery, especially since I don't have like any other eye makeup on. So that's all for the eyes. If you felt like maybe you were like really tired and you wanted to give some more highlight, you could put like highlighter in your inner corner obviously you could do whatever you want but I'm just gonna leave it like that and for my lips I obviously don't want to do a full like lip liner lipstick lip gloss <laughs> routine so I'm just gonna go in with like a nice one and done kind of product um, which is my rare beauty I never remember what these were called because they don't have the name on them. Uh, something balm. It's like, it's basically like a lip gloss and a lip balm. And I have this shade Nearly Apricot. So it's just a nice, um, I don't know if I want to say your lips but better shade because, uh, yeah, maybe, I guess for my since my lips are very pink to begin with, it does it does kind of just look like my lips, but better. <laughs> like my lips, but with shine. And I love the applicator on these. It's super easy to use. I mean, cause it's pointy, like you can really like make sure you get in the lines. Sometimes when I apply lip gloss, I don't know, like it, I guess cause it, cause of the doe foot applicators on other products, I kind of just like smear it on and then I have to really like spread it out. But this one you can put where you want and it feels really nice. It's not sticky. I, I say that about like every lip product, <laughs> but I just hate when lip products are sticky. I don't mind when they're thick because that tells me like they'll stay on longer, but if I do this and they like stick together, no. So I really like this for that reason. And this is something I can apply, like even if I didn't have any other makeup on, I feel like it just, it feels nice and like a balm on your lips. And because I just like to use spray, I'm going to use one today. Um, but that's because I have dry skin and I just like the effect of a spray. So I'm not using it to make my makeup like stay on longer or anything. I just like what it does. So uh, I'm just going to use the one that I'm trying to pan my Project Beauty. Um, I feel like this does kind of give like a MAC Fix Plus vibe. There must be like glycerin or something in this. I don't know. 
yeah, glycerin. I knew it. So I really like this because it kind of makes me look more hydrated. But I haven't really noticed if it makes my makeup last longer or not. But again, that's not something I normally look for. So this spray I have to hold like as far as I can from my face. Because it drenches you, as you can see. But then it dries down and it's it doesn't do like what this does, the iconic London like glow spray because this is like almost too glowy coming from me, that's a lot. Um, so I would use this sparingly <laughs> next time I use it. But this one I don't have to worry about that because there's no like shimmer or anything. It just was like a really basic spray. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It was in a boxy charm, but there's other sprays like this on the market anyway. So yeah. That's it. So I hope that ended up being quick. Obviously I wanted to describe some things to you also, but yeah. I hope you like this video. If I don't know if it was helpful, it's just to show you what I do when I'm not like trying to do a look on camera, I guess. But yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!